Wait a minute, we gotta talk about that fracas, skirmish, kerfuffle, brouhaha that went down in Golden State just a little bit more extensively because just watching the highlights of what transpired where you happen to see Draymond Green take Rudy Gobert on a traveling headlock from the three-point line to the foul line on a four-point play. Evidently, the suspensions, and I should say the fines, the penalties have now been set down. Draymond got suspended for five games, which I believe was a little bit excessive. They could have did a three-game suspension, but five games, it is what it is. Apparently, that's going to cost him approximately about like $761,000 due to the games of him not playing. That's hefty, hefty price, but given Draymond's track record, I understand. Now, Jada McDaniels and Klay Thompson both got $25,000 fines, which they were tussling at each other, pulling on each other's jersey. I think it's a little expensive, but $25,000, if that's what you want to do, cool, I understand. Why did Rudy Gobert get a $25,000 charge? What the hell did he do? Man's got put into the headlock. I recognize there were moments in the altercation in which it looked as if he put his arm around Klay Thompson, but he never actually was able to get in a full headlock, let alone a full strike onto Klay Thompson. Man's got put into a headlock, the million dollar dream, got taken all the way to immigration by Draymond Green, and somehow he's being penalized for it. That's crazy. If they was gonna find this man 25,000, he should have got his get back on the court. At least let the man swing. I understand why his hands was up like this. Because he knew he was going to be penalized for getting his ass whipped. Help! Help! Whatever the penalty structure may be across all professional sports, it's starting to get ridiculous, bro. They are robbing their employees. Because I can understand Jaden McDaniels and Klay Thompson. I understand Draymond Green. But what did Rudy Gobert do? Homie got put in a headlock and got fined $25,000. What did he do? Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Now I understand why Carl Anthony Towns and Anthony Edwards ain't do shit. Because they must have already known that what was going to happen if they got involved. Perhaps they actually read the terms and agreements. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure that you read those PDFs. Make sure that you read the terms and agreements before you hit that doggone check mark on any particular kind of contract or agreement. Because evidently Rudy Gobert did not. And he didn't know just being involved in the altercation results in him getting a fine. And although he didn't get a suspension, but $25,000, bro, that's a quarter of 100 k And it's not like they're going to tax it and take some bread up out of there. Oh, no, you got to pay that entire goddamn premium, bro. That's wild. 25 k for getting choked out? Come on, man. That's crazy. Somewhere Dwight Howard is like, sign me up. Man's going to be able to activate his BDSM kinks and shit. This getting ridiculous, bro. Let me have got choked out and I got to pay 25 k Everybody, it's on site when I see anybody. You got a problem, I might as well get it into it with you because I ain't about to be paying this money for not doing shit, bruh. If I'm Rudy Gobert, next altercation, I'm pulling up like... Oh, yeah! You mean to tell me you watched the entire video but you haven't subscribed? Hit the subscribe button! 